Good afternoon, everyone. This is another one of my mini president's videos, and I have a special guest with us today. I have Josh Jones. He is officially, I believe, Josh, you are the interim director of the Career Academy here in uh, Lincoln, Nebraska. And Josh, you've been in that position for about a year now. Is that correct? Yeah, one year in this position, and then three years prior to that, I was kind of the assistant principal coordinator. Well, Josh, as you know, this is a really unique, wonderful partnership between Lincoln Public Schools and SEC specifically, but we have other partners uh, that are part of the Career Academy from other, other high schools. Um, one of the really wonderful things about the Career Academy is in, I like the way on your website, on the, on the Career Academy, we talk about test drive uh, we tell our students to think about this as an opportunity to test drive their futures. Why don't you tell us about that and any, what's going on at the Career, Career Academy um, right, uh, now here um, in 2021? Yeah, so the test drive your future mentality is the idea when you go buy a car, you usually don't go, go buy the first car. And in many cases for uh, young people and people as they're getting ready to graduate high school and college, they have, they've not test driven a career. And at the Career Academy, we allow them to do that. Uh, not only are they getting the benefit of taking dual credit classes and starting to build that college transcript, but they're learning what it may be like to be a teacher or to work in the culinary arts field or to work as a welder. And in some cases, students realize they don't like it. And that's great because at the Career Academy, we have 17 other pathways that they can choose from. And so they can do a little career exploration. So that's the test drive piece. And what's happened at the Career Academy right now is we're just continuing to grow. I feel like as SEC expands and grows, we are just following right along in that path. We are our health science program right now. Uh, we, are, we will have just over 200 students in that program next year, just over 200 alone. And that's attributed to the program that SEC is building and us being able to kind of piggyback off that and what we're able to offer. And that's the case in all of our pathways right now. We're just seeing expansion and growth across the board. Yeah, I, I would definitely say growth is is probably one of the most exciting things that's happening at the Career Academy. I think when I first came here in 2014, we launched the Career Academy. It was already in progress before I arrived, but it, it wasn't, the, the facility wasn't complete until 2015. And we started with about 350. It was pretty steady, really, until I think you had joined and we um, worked with uh, SEC and LPS to develop a, a strategic plan for the Career Academy, which called for a number of things, and one of which was to kind of look at different delivery formats, uh, different types of pathways. And now that we've really been kind of trying some different things, creating some additional opportunities made for seniors that just want to do that exploration that you were talking about, um, it's been amazing to see how quickly it's gone from, of course, from 350 to 700 or not 700 yet, but close to it. I think one of the challenges is it's hard to know if it's because of some of the specific strategies in the plan or the idea that we've been around long enough now that students uh, are sharing out with their friends and parents are finding out about it. But I was able uh, to give remarks the last couple of days during your uh, registration nights. And I can tell you, there were a lot of excited students uh, and excited parents. And so I think you're really developing um, not like a second and third option, but a first option for these students. It's, they're really thinking about this as, you know, this is where they want to be. So tell yeah, us about, sure. go ahead. Sorry, you know, one of the things in Lincoln, Lincoln has a tradition of strong high schools, and we are trying to kind of break into that space a little bit. Um, and so it's convincing uh, parents and students that you're not giving up your high school experience by coming to the Career Academy. What we like to say is you're enhancing it. Uh, this is just an opportunity to enhance it. So, you know, six years in, I think that we are starting to make a name for ourselves. Uh, the, com the community has been tremendous support, the business community continues to reach out. And um, in fact, I just got an email today uh, from a company asking about HVAC jobs. They're looking for interns. So um, yeah, we are we're, we're, we not only see a demand from students, but we're seeing a demand from the, uh, the community as well. One of the things we're doing, Josh, is over the last um, several years is we're modernizing every aspect of SEC. We're adding um, 
new facilities, we are changing our processes to better align, for example, on a semester calendar system with our partners, including high school partners and four-year partners. Uh, but one of the other ways we can expand our capacity to produce a skilled workforce, which is a lack of skilled wor uh, workers, is one of the main major challenges in Nebraska. The Career Academy is also a very important strategy to address that issue because it, we're trying to increase the pipeline of, of students that want to pursue a, a, a career. So tell us about how are some of those, I know these areas that weren't uh, very high enrollment areas, that's starting to change, like welding and construction. Tell us about that. Yeah, so you know, we when we started the Career Academy, we were looking at five to 10 students in some of the construction, welding, career technical education, kind of trade-based classes. Welding now we're cohorting it because we have so many. In fact, this year we may have three first year cohorts because we've gone from 10 to 35 potential students. HVAC sat empty uh, for the first four years. Uh, last year we had two students take a risk. It's, it's hard to convince a 15 year old to HVAC is a great option. They just don't know much about it. But again, as we're talking to students about test driving their future, we had six students this uh, semester decide to give HVAC a try. Now we have eight students in our HVAC program, next year, 12. Uh, precision machine, that was always a pathway that just sat five, six students. Now it's 15, 16 students. And I give a lot of the credit to the instructors. They are doing a fantastic job of connecting the students, uh, getting students passionate about this career field and what they're studying. Well, one of the things that and that's great to hear those numbers, Josh. It really is. Uh, those are areas where we have high, high demand throughout Nebraska. One of the things that um, I was able to point out to some of the parents and the students in, in the brief welcome marks, remarks that I gave last couple of nights during the restoration events was that these students that choose to attend the Career Academy, they are college students. They will earn up to one year of college credit to our career and technical program. And I talked to them about, and their parents, about how challenging that can be, but that's a very positive opportunity to really push yourself. Tell us about some of the, some of the, some of the experiences that you have, you know, making sure the students understand that this is, these courses are not high school, classes. These are, in fact, college courses, and what comes with that is, is academic rigor. Tell us about that. One of the new things that we've done this year, and we're looking forward to doing more of it next year, is a uh, orientation at the beginning of the year where we're letting students hear from academic advisors. We're letting them hear from different folks at the college so that they can see themselves as a college student. Um, that they recognize that they're a college student. And then throughout the year, especially in those first couple of weeks, we, we really sell our students on what we call our college and career ready skills, which are time management, attendance, advocacy, um, using their technology well, and professionalism and engagement. Because we realize if they can do those five things well, then we believe that we can support them with the academic side. And um, that's where we really try to build into our students with those soft skills that not only are going to benefit them as college students, but are also going to benefit them when they get into the career field that they're choosing. So also the last couple of nights during those restroom events, I had an opportunity and you'll, you'll learn this really fast and you probably already know this, uh, Josh, when I speak, I, if I have a chance to talk about 9.6, I, I take that chance and I, talk to the students and the parents about uh, you know, maximizing positive engaging environment through input, reflective and transparent community, um, communication, compassion, respect for the views, ideas, and others. And I went on to define you know, reflective thinking. And I know that LPS has a kind of similar um, uh, goal. And I know that goal 9.6 is really important uh, part of the uh, career Academy experience. And can you tell us a little bit about that? You know, I think this generation of student, Dr. Illich, is uh, they want to be a voice uh, for themselves. They're not going to just sit around and be passive. Uh, they want to be a part of the experience. They want to um, provide input. 
And uh, that's what 9.6 it's all about. It's all about giving space, in my opinion, uh, to the students, to that key stakeholder that we're working with and saying, hey, we want you to be a part of this experience. Um, and we are going to open our doors to that. And that's what the Career Academy students do. Uh, they are they are strong advocates for not just themselves, but for the experience that they're getting. And I think that I, I appreciate SEC's commitment uh, through putting that actually as a part of their strategic plan and saying we're committed to this and we're going to we're going to support students who are committed to this as well. And you know, one of my favorite things about goal 9.6 it doesn't just say yes we're going to create this type of climate it actually explains exactly how we're going to do that by being reflective being transparent and it we define those things and we work on those things. Um, this has been wonderful Josh you know because you have so much information to share, I think we're going to have to make a second video at some point. What do you think? You know, maybe I can bring a student with me the next time. And you can that, as well. that would be fantastic. I have the hardest time trying to get uh, students to make videos because they're just they're just so busy. But that would be great if we could do that. Is there anything um, that you want to tell everyone before we uh, wrap this up? No, just that we we love being a part of the Southeast Community College family, and I think we are um, we're fortunate to have the resources that we do here in this community. No, I really appreciate everything you do for the Career Academy, Josh, and I, I can tell you it's been great. We, we added a new position that has allowed us that is over all of our extended learning, our Dean of uh, Extended Learning, Cinda Conkin, and having uh, more of a presence uh, at the Career Academy um, in terms of uh, SEC having more presence has been really a wonderful uh, way to strengthen this partnership. So I appreciate all the work she's done. And I know that two of you work together on a lot of different things. So thank you very much. If we don't have anything else, Josh, we'll uh, tell everyone bye and we'll have another video. Thank you, Dr. Illich. Really appreciate it. You take care. You too.